Hey, hi, this is Jeannie, October Sun Studios. So I keep getting asked this question and I'm trying to figure it out myself too. How do you sign up for classes? What is it that you do at October Sun Studios? Well, for starters, I have artwork that, um, let's see if I could, no, I can't turn it around. Okay, I have artwork behind me and these are some of my original pieces. And um, I have uh, original uh, drawings, paintings, enamels, jewelry that I've made, um, just a lot of different things. And then I have art of other artists that uh, are part of the team here. And they have their original pieces as well as some of the merchandise that they like to, you know, smaller items like jewelry items and um, decorative pieces and things like that. So we have that kind of stuff, the gallery kind of stuff. Um, we have a gift shop. And so, you know, there's things that you can buy in the gift shop. We also have people who are authors. I have two books. Uh, a couple uh, other uh, members of the team have books that they've written. And so we have those in the, in the gallery and the gift shop and all that. So that's one part of what we do is we actually have a gallery with original art, prints, greeting cards, and uh, cute items, cute gift items. So yeah. And then the other thing that we do is we have classes. And so the classes, uh, you sign up for the classes. I don't have like a, um, like a schedule because what I've decided to do is work with you on your schedule. Because I found out that if I just put a schedule down, then if the class doesn't fill up, then I can't do anything with that time slot. So this is it. Uh, there's three steps. Uh, the first step is LLL, and that is pick out your level, pick out your location, and pick out your lesson. So it's level, location, and uh, lesson. The level is just simply this. There's four different levels that we have. The first level is artist training. That's where you start wherever you want to start. I find out where you're at with your you know, what you want to do, what your goals are, and we'll just carry you from that to, you know, what you want to do next. And that's done on a weekly basis most often, um, or as needed. Um, it's kind of not as, well, I guess as needed, but as often as you want to do it. And, and it's not a, a horribly pricey thing. It's uh, $168 for four classes that are three hours long. You do the math and you find out that, that that's a pretty good deal. Now, children, and I'm counting children as seven-year-olds to 15. So that's a pretty wide gap. They're only $10, $10 an hour. So, and I don't, they're not set for three hours because not, you know, maybe 12 and 14, 15 might want to do a three-hour session, but you know, seven and eight year olds might might be more happy with a one hour or 90 minute session. So that's that. So that's artist training. Then I have master classes and the master class might be something like, you know, uh, making a scarf like this or uh, making, um, you know, some kind of a, a jewelry item or um, learning how to bind a book. I mean, something kind of specific and then my different artists will often offer different classes, like a series of watercolor landscape or um, portrait or whatever. Okay, so that's the master class. So now there's two levels. Level one is artist training. Level two is the master class. And the other two levels are kind of fun. Art for uh, healing and art for fun. Now the level three is art for fun. That's when you get to paint, you know, like, like this stuff here. Okay, so we have, you know, uh, different kinds of painting, uh, pouring classes, a uh, little bit of um, uh, tiling. Uh, this is, this is a, well, this was an art for fun. This is a jewelry making class. Some, you know, free painting classes, not free, but, you know, like the uh, exploratory type. Uh, kind of thing. So art for fun is just the most common one. It's the let's just come in and play. Yeah. And then art for healing is just a little bit different. You take the art for, you know, kind of to calm you. It's not 
rushed it's you know might take a little bit longer and it might you might want to do it in more than one session but the art for healing and the art for um fun are generally i can't say all the time because it depends on what it is generally we would try to keep it in the 25 dollar um range for uh, 90 minutes that's an hour and a half if it goes to two hours that's okay too but you know, generally it's you know twenty five dollars per person, and that's the ones for the groups. So art for fun and art for healing are for groups. You can also do them as private lessons or you know one or two people, but that's what that is. Okay, and then location. Location can be right here in my studio. It could be in the main house. It could be in the blue cottage. It can be in the ceramic studio. Yes, I said ceramic studio, which is uh, actually being built right now. <laughs> I have the kiln is all set up. We have to do a few tweaking, you know, issues with the, with the kiln. I'm waiting for my wheels, wheels, <laughs> waiting for my wheels, the clay wheels. I have two clay wheels coming and, um, and it, there's also the gardens. So you can choose, you know, this as a location or a location where you're at. You know, if you want to do it, let's say you're doing a team building thing at the office or at your house or your backyard or at a, at a park, um, in a library, I mean, wherever, you know, you, it's, it's most convenient for you. It, it, it all, it, it's pretty open is what I'm trying to say. So it could be my place or your place kind of a thing. Uh, let's see. Once you pick out your location, then it's pick out your lesson. I have so many things to offer. I should show you. I'm going to go into my actual studio in here, and it's kind of dark, so I have to turn the light on. Oops, see, the lights went out. Okay, so here we have, can you see? I have pastels, uh, alcohol ink, gaitaco, paper quilling, calligraphy, fiber arts, uh, stamping, uh, printmaking, watercolors, ceramics, batik, wood um, crafts. I don't know. And then, and that's not all. There's more. I have paper making, um, painting, painting bold. I have um, color. Uh, there's this theory on color, you know, finding out what color is associated with your birthday. And then you do a painting according to that. Um, so lots and lots of things, or like I said, artist, um, if you want to do artist training, you know, or you want to learn about portrait painting, or you want to learn landscapes, um, whatever, you know, specific things, perspective, you know, we can, we can do that. So you pick out what lesson you want to do. So once you figure out what level, where you want to do it, and what lesson you want to do, then it's just a matter of you either pay ahead or you pay after, you know, at the time, that's fine. If you have a large group and you're not quite sure what you wanna do, you can make that decision when the group arrives. I'll give you a few choices. I won't give you the all the choices. I mean, they have to be able to set up. So, you know, if I'll give you like two or three choices, we'll figure out which ones. And then when your people come, you know, we can break out the wine if you wanna do wine and, and go from there. All right, so super simple to set up a class. You just, it's best if you talk to me and I will walk you through each step. I'll just simply ask you, do you wanna do art for fun? Do you wanna do art for training? Do you want a master class? Do you wanna do art for healing? Those are the four levels. And then where do you wanna do it? My place, your place? And then what do you wanna do? Okay, so that's that's how easy that part is. It's a little bit, complicated to explain but it's actually just a very simple thing okay so that's that and then here's another wonderful thing this is this is cool um once a month the second saturday number two the second saturday of the month i have what's called an art fest in my backyard in my gardens in my blue cottage in my garage which is the, the ceramic studio and the gift shop um, and it's free and you can come in and you get a free door prize, a ticket, not the door prize, but you get a ticket for a door prize. 
and um and you can walk around and i have uh, an activities tent where we have we can test out different projects that i happen to be featuring that month you can look and see the other things that i have to offer we can talk we can schedule your class if you'd like uh you have an idea of something you'd like to do you have a party coming up a shower a birthday um a club meeting uh, a team building thing for a company if that's you know something that's of interest um or something that you want to do for yourself you know your private lessons for yourself you know the the artist in training kind of thing you want to take you know ceramics you want to you know you want to throw some pots you want to do some hand building or whatever okay so um come here and, and explore on the second saturday of each month from may to october and uh, and see what I have, you know, actually hands on see what I'm doing and what, you know, what kinds of things you can you can participate in. And then I also have some vendors. The gift shop is open. Um, I have a featured artist who will have their display in the main cottage. Um, I have the vendor tent. They have the activity tent. And we also have a couple games. We have bocce ball and we have little, I don't know if it's called miniature golf, but it's just, a, you know, you have a little golf some golf balls and some little, you know, designated spots to, you know, throw the golf ball. Or you can take my dog for a walk if you want. Because my dog is, I, I ignore my dog on the days that I do this. I don't mean to. But, you know, if you want to walk my dog, you can walk the dog around the garden. Uh, let's see, what did I miss? I missed something. Oh, sing-alongs. And uh, chalk drawings on the sidewalk. So, you know, it's a little festival. It's a chance to, you know, kind of celebrate the arts. And, you know, if you don't find anything this month, maybe you'll find something next month. Or maybe you don't have anything happening this month and you want to schedule something way out or you're not sure yet. But you just want to come out and see what I have to offer. That's what it's there for. Just once a month. That's my regular hours. Once a month on Saturday, the second Saturday of the month. Well, that's it. I think I'm starting to grow into my skin, if you will, my studio. I have to kind of figure this out myself to say uh, what it is that I do, what I, you know, what I have to offer, and um, and this is all part of my dream. So I'm happy to do it. Um, give me a call, a text, an email and or come to my art fest on the second saturday of the month the next one i have well it's going to be there there's one in july july 8th august 12th i think september 8th and october 14th i think I'm pretty sure i have i don't have those dates memorized specifically but i'm pretty sure i got those right so I hope to see you at the next Art Fest or give me a call or text so that we can schedule a fun, fun activity for you or and or your group. And um, we'll take care of the money part when it's time. Alrighty, take good care. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.